Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 91. Uh, I'm actually indoors. Came into the uh, into the office tonight, um, only because uh, it's a little chilly outside. So I've decided. Uh, Let's keep it indoors. I mean, I could go out there. I mean, I'm cool with the wet, but it's a little bit too, and it's wet. And the last thing I need to do is be getting sick. So I decided we stay in tonight. Uh, anything new today? I had a one call for little Susie from uh, for Dallas show, um, but you know I can't make any kind of decisions right now. Uh, I can't. I got. I can't even bring shows up to her right now until this whole mess is over because I can't promise anything. They were like, well, you know, maybe we could do like August. I said, I can't promise August. I can't promise anything until this is done. And we know we're in the clear. And we're praying, you know, praying that everybody's good, all of us. And and then we can make a decision on, you know, uh, uh, on doing shows again, you know. Trust me, I want to do shows. Right now, it's a scary, it's a scary thought. You think about all the people that will come to one of these events, and we were in the, we were in a really we we're in a, a rough business, man. I mean, thank God, thank God they discovered this uh, while we were you know pretty much off the road. Think about it. You know, they could have been this could have come up while we were on in a concert. You know, you know, walking through crowds. You know that which we normally do or. Shaking hands with people, or you know, doing autographs with a, an entire crowd of people standing around us, coughing and sneezing. I mean, it's a scary, scary situation, you know. Uh, people now, I mean, at least in my uh, my industry, you know, people are concerned. Well, where's it gonna go? Me and Angel were talking about like, what's gonna happen? Is like, this the end of shows? Is this the no? I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I believe. Uh, if anything, entertainment will always find its way. Entertainment will always stand tall because people need that. Entertainment existed when, you know, when the wars were break broke, you know, had broken out when they were out. Uh, 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 entertainment uh, went on during the depression. It went on during other epidemics. You know. Um, one thing people splurge for is entertainment, and it's understandable. Whether it's TV, maybe it's just staying home watching TV. You know, some it was theater, some you know concerts. Sometimes people just need that thing that breaks them away, that just takes them off. Some people just stay home and read books. You know, that's all entertainment. That's all entertainment. You know, so that's one thing. Uh, that you know we all need it's very important and it's been around since day one and it'll be around till day till the end of time i believe this so we're just uh what i'm concerned though is what's going to change you know i already spoke about this i think yesterday maybe the time before that only because i'm thinking about it a lot is that this is how things change you know, is shaking hands now going to be looked at as taboo? Like, who's really going to be interested in shaking hands? I mean, once it goes back to norm, then I can see everybody doing it again. But the chances of that um, being eliminated from our culture is very, very possible. You know? Um, hugs. Outside the family, you know, intimacy outside the family. That doesn't happen in a lot of countries. Maybe this is why. There's a lot of countries, you know, they hug and kiss their own. Not outsiders, not friends. 
I think it's also distant relatives they don't, you know, it's like immediate family. So, you know, is, how did these cultures um, come about? How did these ideas come, come about? What is the reason behind um, Japan, you know, not shaking hands or some of these other countries? You know, we, some of us look at it as strange. We might look at it as not normal. However, what we do might be the thing that's not normal. Touching people with your hand, like where have your hands been? Maybe that's, maybe that's the whole deal behind it. And instead of shaking hands, they bow. Like how much more reverence can you give someone that's a bow to them? How much more respect? I mean, you bow to God. Now you're bowing to a human being. I mean, is there a, a respect for that? Do you, if you see God, would you shake God's hand or would you bow to him? You know, so maybe there we're not, maybe we're not the normal ones. Maybe what we're doing is not normal, you know? So, you know, so I could see that being something. Um, uh, schooling. I mentioned this also, you know, what's going on today? Santana had an online class. They did it with a, a Google Meet, which is, a, I believe it's Hangouts. I think it's Google Hangouts. Uh, they need to organize that, though. That was a little crazy. I don't know. I guess they do it just to see each other's face. I don't think they really do it to, to do work because they didn't do anything. They, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was the kids enjoy seeing each other on, on the screen. I guess that's kind of cool. I can understand that, but... Uh, the first, first two times that they did it, I was, um, I was like, okay, are they supposed to learn something? Like, they're talking, you know, if this is how they're teaching the class, this is crazy. Like, you know, you know, what's your favorite cake? You know, it's like, okay, it's this second grade. I see the math they're doing. They're doing some crazy math. Why are you asking what kind of cake? You know? So, I mean, it could be understandable. And if, uh, Miss Law is listening to this podcast, which is our uh, Santana's teacher. Please forgive me; has nothing, nothing personal. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just wondering, <laughs> you know. But will this become the norm? Will enough people look at this situation and say, you know what? It's not like we don't have the technology. We definitely have the technology. There's a lot of classes being done on, online, a lot of seminars, and just people that use that Udemy. Um, so there's uh, ways of downloading, you know, PDF files. There's ways of doing a screen capture. There's a lot of ways, you know, the schools, the, 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 the actual public schools, I don't think have adapted or have trained anyone. That's probably what they need to do is bring people in that are trained to gr do incredible presentations. I know because I'm working on a webinar and I can make my webinar look better than what some of these teachers are doing online because they don't know. They're just going on a typical uh, program and they're just doing like a Google Meet, you know, or a Zoom meeting, you know. And um, uh, but it, yeah, too noisy. Uh, I think this year because this happened, nobody was prepared. I think they're just kind of kind of fly by it. But I think what's going to happen, hopefully, as these teachers do this and they see the the problems that they're that making a note of the problem so that way they can address these problems and then maybe bring some professionals in. But wow, I can see, I can see this being the case. How good is it? How good is it? I don't know. Okay, so people are going to bring up, well, you know, people are not, the kids are not socializing in class anymore. They are now on a computer. Well, Kids also really don't go out and play anymore either. They're on social media. They're doing TikToks. Or they're watching YouTube. Or they're home with their families making slime. You know? And that's become the norm. And people look at it as unhealthy. No. I don't find it to be unhealthy. You know? I don't find it to be unhealthy. The lot of us that think that way is just our age. <clears throat> That's like back in the days when people said, don't listen to Elvis, he's the devil. Look how Elvis moves his pelvis. That's the devil's move, <laughs> you know? Um, so they looked at it, it was just being, being older, you know? Get off that computer game. 
you know get off the telephone back in the days we didn't we didn't talk on the telephone for hours. Remember in the 70s and 80s? Well, really, most of us, it was the 80s when we stayed on the telephone talking to our girlfriends or boyfriends or friends or whatever for hours at a time with a freaking wire, <laughs> you know? And our parents would say, yeah, get off the telephone. You know, that's all you want to do is be on the telephone, bro. Okay, now we all have our own telephone with no wire. We could take it anywhere. <laughs> we could talk to anybody we want. So it's just really interesting how the world is changing. I'm fascinated by it. You know, one of the things that I'm really fascinated about and um, I play with quite a bit um, is Alexa, you know, his voice. I really believe, and there's a lot of influences out there that are starting to talk about it and I see it, I understand it, I understand it. You know, voice is getting very popular. So um, I don't use voice that much, like I don't, I don't type with voice, I don't text with voice, I don't look for TV with voice, I don't, I don't do them. However, I love the fact that they're there, you know. Um, football games, sports, I mean, how are people going to take that? Are people, is it going to go back to normal? And if it does, how long is that going to take before it gets back to normal? And if it doesn't, now what? What happens then? Well, okay, we have TV. We have TV. What happens then? What happens with the stadiums? Like, what's gonna go on? You know, you, you think about this. Now, let's say people don't wanna go to the stadium anymore. What, what happens? What does the stadiums become? Do they still play in the field and they just leave the seats empty? Like that, that's gonna be weird. They will probably have to remodel the stadiums and get rid of the seats and make it just all sophisticated field get rid of the so they're going to lose a lot of money they'll lose the money on the ticket sales they'll lose money on the concessions however however um i believe that they'll find a way it's almost like when people started streaming music and people started downloading and Napster got involved and you know you had that it was just a matter of time for people to figure it out how can we stop them from doing this how can we stop them from doing that even software look at software for years people bootleg software we have all done it I don't do it no more though <laughs> but <clears throat> we've all done it now it's like impossible to do unless you have old software software is that but all the software now is on in the cloud for those who don't know what in the cloud means it means that the program doesn't work from your machine you don't download the program onto your computer so there's no CD to burn nothing it runs off of a server up in cyberspace from a central office or central headquarters just like Facebook okay Facebook you're looking at Facebook you're on Facebook but you didn't download that that Facebook is not on your computer you're just linked to their server. You, when you watch videos on, on YouTube, you don't, you're not downloading those videos. You'll have no room to hold all those videos. Okay, you're watching these videos from their servers. You're interacting and posting and liking on their service. It's freaking incredible, man. It's, ugh, my God, I wish I could be around another 60 years to see how everything turns out, you know? But um, it is. It's really fascinating. I try to get my kids and my grandkids to understand and to appreciate the technology. It's free, it's, man, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Think about our parents and grandparents who, to them, they had the telephone and they had the television. Some had the radio. Some had television. Um, as far as they're concerned, the world was perfect. But think about think about us now. How would we look at that? That would be like a punishment for us. It really would. You could say no if you don't if you want, but that would be like a punishment. It's like, okay, I can't reach out to my family. I don't know. I can't see my cousins and my friends from back in the days. I can't I can't FaceTime with with somebody like 
you know, my grandkids or my kids that I haven't seen in a long time, I can't FaceTime with them. Um, I can't go online and, and just find information. Like, at, the, at my finger, think about the, the limitations. Like, right now, we don't even have to memorize stuff anymore, like school. You know, okay, name the, the, the capital of each state of the United States. Name the capital. You don't need to memorize that shit no more. You don't. There's this really cool website called Google. <laughs> Just type in it. What are the capitals of each of the states of the United States, or whatever, however you want to put it? And boom, it's there. And guess what? You have that in your back pocket. You have it on your phone. You have it on your computer. We could do it from our televisions. Oh my goodness. We could do it in an airplane. We could do it in a bathroom. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. If you look at it, you think of it this way. Who's the Who's the 44th president of the United States? Yeah. Most of us don't know that it's Obama. <laughs> okay? It is. It's Obama. So who's the 13th? I don't know. Lincoln? I don't remember. I don't know. But I bet you if I pull up my Google, I'll do it in about... I can hold my breath and find it. Hmm. How crazy is that? Our grandparents... And most of our parents did not have this luxury. And they feel like they didn't miss out. If anything, they were worried about us. Now we look back and we're like, wow, you really didn't get to experience the world. You really didn't get to know people. You didn't get to see how funny people... Hey, look at my TikToks. Some of you laugh. Maybe some of you say, oh, this, this dude's corny. Whatever. I see a lot of people out there that I'm like... They're so funny and they're so talented. I'm, I'm looking at these people singing. I'm listening to these DJs on these stations. And I'm watching people do acrobats. I'm watching people draw and post their pictures and, and filming themselves paint. I'm like, my God, this world is full of freaking magic, man. This world is full of magic. You know, we look at, we go on YouTube and you see these people doing that. What's it called? Oh, man. Uh, park. Parkour? Parkour? Is it? You know when they're jumping from wall to wall and like when they do it on YouTube and they have like their um their GoPro on their helmet and we get dizzy watching, we're like, oh my god. <laughs> you know? Like I can't watch mo I watch a quite a few of them. The ones that I'm sure that they're not gonna die. But oh my god. You know, like you look at some of these people it's like, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> you know? You know, Evil Knievel had nothing on these people. <laughs> you know? Holy smoke. But, um, so, you know, so it's an incredible time. And <clears throat> and I just think it's, it's situations like this is what changes the world. It's what all of a sudden things change. And we'll notice it. But generations to follow will be born into it. And they won't acknowledge it. Think about it. Internet is no big deal to the kids. It's not a big deal. They were born with it. They moved the mouse like it was part of the hand. Do you remember touching the mouse for the first time? You remember how you was like, how the hell do you, like, is this ever going to be easy? You know? Now it's second nature for those who use computers. You know? Or 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 texting. How many of you guys text? text? We went to school to learn how to type with all our fingers. I can type pretty good when I'm writing, when I want to. But 99% of our communication only requires our thumbs. <laughs> Think about this. Holy smoke. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, I'll tell you, man, uh, I just pray that a lot of good comes from this. Like, man, we're losing a lot of people and people getting sick and... <clears throat> I pray for these people and I feel like, and I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared for my family, your family, you know, for me, my wife, my kids, my friends and families, you know, even people that I just, are, we're just friends on social media, you know, it's like, 
that's when it starts hitting home when you start seeing that, you know. Of course, you know, I don't want strangers to get it. Like, I, I just want this to pass. Like, I want this to pass. I really do, you know, just like everybody does. But I'm anticipating it to pass. I just want to get, I want to look, now they're talking about it's going to peak in like 14 days. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, it's going to peak? So, you know, it's scary, man, scary. So listen, man, um, again, thanks for those who are watching my TikToks and checking them out. Some of them are silly. Um, I like doing them. Uh, I just like the fact that I'm getting up and I got, and it, they take a little time to do and gives me something to do. And then I sit down, and I do some writing and then I, in the evening, I look forward to doing a podcast and then try to do my little work here and there. The only thing I got to add to this whole damn routine is I got to start working out <laughs> because, oh, oh my God, you guys can see some of those videos. Like, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't see that shit. I don't see it till it's on, on camera. Like, I look in the mirror, I don't look that big. When I look at freaking, like, the, the TikTok uh, one I have that uh, um, I'm bored in the house, I'm spinning around, sitting down on that chair with that light blue T-shirt. I'm like, what possessed me to even wear that light blue T-shirt? Because when I wore it, I put it on, I look fine. I should have known better. And not only that, when I was doing I didn't realize I, I put the screen out too far. The screen should have been in a little bit more. And, you know, yeah, I had the ability to, to delete it and do it again. But I was like, you know what? I, I deserve that shit, man. <laughs> you know, you want to keep eating, man. You want to not work out. And then, you know what? Then, then you deserve that, you know? So, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I got to stop working out, you know? But anyway, listen, guys, um, thanks again, like always, for listening in. Um, and uh, stay safe. Stay home. Have fun. Get to know your family. Do something that you always want to do. Read books. Write books. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do on social media. A lot of creative stuff if you're a creative person. Maybe you're not. Maybe you like you love to consume content. Like some people love to consume. I consume, but I like to create more than I consume. That's me. Some people enjoy consuming more than creating. And that's cool, too, because we can't create if someone's not consuming. So all you guys who are just, you know, checking out my videos or listening to the podcast and, and enjoying it, man. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it very much. So, But listen, man, let me shut down. Be cool. And until tomorrow, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.